welcome back to another Quintina Cherie video. I am Quintina Cherie. You guys, um, today I am literally all over the place with my feelings. I am both sad and happy. Today was the last day in a job that I have had for 13 years. 13. I think that this job has been around almost as long as I've been on YouTube. I've had this same job, same title, but kind of moved and evolved a bit. Um, it's grown as throughout those years, but I'm very happy to have had it. It has gotten me through so much. Um, I experienced a lot throughout the course of having this job. Um, professionally, I have grown immensely from the time I started to now. I am like trying to find the words to say because I don't know what those words are. <laughs> like it is, I don't know. I am sad because I'm going to miss the people um, and the relationships that I built with the folks who were there in the office. I am going to miss them terribly. Um, and I'm really hoping like I'm, I'm always, the, I have always been the type where it's like out of sight, out of mind, where if I don't really see you like that, I don't really, you know, think about it. But then when I get around you again, then I realize like, dang, I miss that feeling of being around them. So I am hoping that I never lose sight of the feeling of being around them. Um, just, and I'm like, please keep me in the know on things, you know, like I'm in the type that I'm involved with people's lives and their families. And, you know, I get to know all of that about people. So I'm really praying that I get to, what is it? continue that with all of them because I really I enjoy all of them as a person like I don't I don't want it to change uh so I really want to get to know you know still be around and know about all of them as time continue to grow and evolve and all of that I uh but I'm excited about my next chapter and where I'm going and what I'm doing and all of that, and I guess it's safe to really say that I am becoming the business manager for our housing um, department. And I'm super excited about that because that is what my master's degree is for. So that's what I went to school for and that is what I'm becoming. So I'm super excited about that. And all of the perks and things that it comes along with, um, it will take me some time to get out of, because I have been an administrative assistant for 13 years. It'll take me some time to get out of being that and to realize like, no, you don't assist anybody else. You just focus on your job. Like there is now someone else to do assisting to me if I need it. And it, it it's, it's going to take some adjusting and getting used to, but I'm like hoping I don't go in and like try to take over the other assistant's job because I'm like, I know, like I'll just do it. Like I know how to do it. Just do, I'll just do it. And it's for the same division that I work for. So I know a lot of the things already, but it's like, I don't really know my position and I'm sure I'll get involved in it and be full, you know, in full on, you know, with it all together. So, today was my last day. My munchkin is in here making mad noise. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> um, but it is, yeah, like, I'll show my clip with my empty desk and how I had literally nothing there. Like, there is no sign of me being in that space. And it felt so weird. It's so odd to have that. What, girl? Don't you see I'm recording? That's why I reached my hand. What? 
I got all of them in the box. So whenever I get my actual office, because I won't start in my actual office next week, but whenever I get my actual office, that stuff won't go up in there. Okay. Yep. My very last day in the office. Um, but it was so, <sighs> it was kind of sad. Like seeing all the people, I, I'm, I'm going, I am going to miss all of them. I already miss like the people who have already left. I miss all of them so very much. I still, you know, text with some of them, but like throughout these years, there's so many people that I just miss being around, but they have all impacted me positively um both you know old and current folks um they have all impacted me and they made me better um i i've always been one that wanted them to help me to grow and be better and they have literally challenged me and stretched me and encouraged me in a lot of ways and i'm so thankful i know they get plenty of stories about my daughter and about my husband and you know like and that's just how we are we care about each other's families but me being an assistant i created an environment that i enjoyed and that i wanted to be around um and that included being family oriented um because that is who i am at the core my family is my everything and if they are around me dang near more than my actual family, like they have to understand that they have to be willing to accept that as well. I need you to stop making so much noise, January. Y'all, I don't get my own personal space because somebody always in it. While this is my room, I don't get to be in it by myself. Um. Well, so tomorrow and then a. a Next week, I took some time off just to give myself some downtime because this week has been really busy for me. I haven't really slept much because my brain has been running and racing, trying to make sure I wrap up as much as possible and making sure that I leave as many instructions and how-tos for a lot of different things. Um... So, yeah, my brain has been all over the place. And I know we probably did cover some bases, but the good thing is, is I'm still on campus. I still get to... Can you stop kicking the table, please? Um, and there's a lot that I'm sure we'll still communicate about. It's just what... That's just a part of it, and that's just how that's going to be. So, I'm excited. I am ready for this next journey. Most of all, I should have said this first, all glory and thanks go to God because He knows when to do it, what to do it, and how to do everything in our lives. The thing is that we need to just show and tell him that we trust him to do what it is he wants to do. And we have to be willing to follow and trust his journey um, that he sets out for us. And I feel like I have done that. If y'all hear this extra music in the background, my husband is being mad loud right now. Mad loud. <laughs> like I said but this is how we are y'all know this is this is life this is my house this, you're not gonna get the super quiet and super aesthetic and all of that you're gonna get what you get over here you get real life y'all know this is the place where you do meet reality so we get real life over here okay um, I have talked enough, but I wanted to make sure that I conclude and kind of wrap up this chapter of my life um, because y'all rode with me in the cars. You know, I've, I've shown you guys my job and, you know, all of those things. And so I wanted to make sure that I wrap up this section of my life um, in a video. Um, this isn't like all of my feelings. I'm still trying to sort out and feel how I feel. Um, at the same time, but I am embracing this moment, but trying to live in the moment. And being thankful for what all is happening, what all is transpiring. Um, yeah. Uh, you guys, I don't even know. I've recorded some videos. You might have seen them before this. You might get it after this. I don't know. So if you hear me saying, like, I think I can share this, then y'all know. Like, these videos are not going in order um, of which I'm releasing them. So, but I really want to conclude this chapter of my life 
first and then we can go back a little bit. And thank you guys so much for watching. I am super excited. I will update you guys in the next, what the next chapter is looking like of my career. Um, but yeah, y'all, I feel like I have, really have a real career now. Like, for real, for real. I mean, I feel like administrative assistant isn't a is a career, but this is what I, I've always wanted. Um, and God like knew that He knew that I did not want to be an assistant for my entire career, um, and He's answered that prayer. <laughs> yeah, I can't just stop being um, grateful. That is literally all that I'm walking in is his grace right now. Um, I, I keep hearing the song by Transformation Church where he said, it says, I cast all my cares above me. And so I know that if it's above me, God, I know that it's below you. So I am leaving it all up there for him. So, and I trust him. I will talk to y'all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be blessed, you guys. And I really do mean that. I love you guys. And did you, what are you trying to do? What you trying to do? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up. We got to end this. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. I will see y'all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. Take care. Be blessed. See you next time.